Kenya's deputy president, William Ruto, has won the country's presidential election, the Electoral Commission said on Monday. But it was an announcement made amid chaotic scenes, with scuffles breaking out and Electoral Commission officials disowning the results. Juliana Torreira, the Electoral Commission's deputy chairperson, told a media briefing that she and three other commissioners were not able to take ownership of the results. Because of the opaque nature which these results have been handled. Minutes later at the announcement hall, the head of the Electoral Commission, Wafula Chibukati, took to the stage to announce the result. <laughs> Diplomats and international observers had been hurried out moments before. Fights had also broken out as supporters of Ruto's main opponent, Raila Odinga, rushed the stage. Chibukati said Ruto had passed the 50% threshold needed to win the presidency. 7,176,141. Odinga did not attend the announcement. Ruto hailed the Electoral Commission as heroes and said there is no looking back. We are looking to the future. But the manner in which the result was announced will add to fears that the past could be about to repeat. Kenya has a history of post-election violence. More than 1,200 people died following a vote in 2007. 100 were killed after an election a decade later. In Kisumu, an Odinga stronghold in western Kenya, the reaction was immediate. Several black plumes of smoke rose around a roundabout as people burned piles of tyres. Police fired tear gas at protesters amid shouts of Chibukati must go and no Ryla, no peace.